If you're thinking about starting an online coaching business, you might have the question, how long is this gonna take? How many hours a week do I need to put into this to actually make this thing happen? In this video, we're gonna cover exactly just that. I'm Dr. Matt, if you're new here, go ahead and drop a subscribe. Every single week, I'm gonna be putting out educational videos for coaches, clinicians that have online offers and want to grow and scale online. All right, so let's get into it. So for me to really give you a really good answer on how much time you're gonna be spending inside the business, we have to think about the different components of the business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down the business into five components. The first component is coaching. The second component is gonna be lead generation. The third component is gonna be sales. The fourth component is gonna be admin work. And the fifth component is going to be creating content. All five of those things have to happen in the business for us to have a business, right? And as the business grows, the percentage and the amount of time we spend in each of those is going to change. But to get started, let's just cover what you're gonna to need to get started. All right, so for category number one, we have coaching. If you're getting new to coaching, you probably don't have many coaching clients. It also is gonna depend on how your coaching is. is are you doing one-on-one -on -one coaching? Are you doing group coaching? Are you doing a, a course where there's absolutely no fulfillment and no coaching? So fulfillment or coaching, let's just say if you've got no clients, it's gonna take you anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour per client that you have, okay? And that's on a week. So let's just say if you've got no clients, you're gonna spend one to two hours a week coaching as you get clients, okay? So that would be like your first two to four clients. So if we have like a weekly total so far, just by coaching alone, you're at maybe two to four hours a week from coaching. Now, the second category is lead generation. And this is where you're gonna spend most of your time getting started. This is gonna be having conversations with prospects. This is gonna be networking. This is just gonna be, how can I talk to more people that could be potential clients? And if you really wanna grow your business, you need to be doing this at least an hour to two hours a day. Okay, so that's gonna be five to 10 hours a week of lead generation, talking to clients, seeing if you can book calls, talking about your offer, etc. When you're getting started, this is gonna be the most amount of time that you're gonna be devoting to something else is lead generation. You need leads to have sales, to have clients. You're not gonna be doing a ton of coaching, a lot more lead gen. So far, we've got coaching. You're spending you know, two to four hours a week there. You're spending five to 10 hours a week doing lead gen. And the third one, the third category we talked about is going to be sales. So for sales, it just depends how many people during those five to 10 hours a week of lead gen are hopping on sales calls and sales calls or enrollment calls. It's where, you know, you're spending about 30 to 60 minutes talking about your offer, positioning as a solution to that person's problems. And it's just a much more one-on-one -on -one conversation that's at the end of it is when you ask them, Hey, do you want this? and you guys pay each other or they pay you and you guys get signed up, right? So for this, as you're getting started, if you're doing five to 10 hours of lead gen every single week, ideally, we're gonna be booking two to five calls, two to five sales calls. When I work with my clients, the ballpark goals is, can I have them with their lead gen book one call a day? Okay, so if I'm booking a call a day, let's say that on the top high end, five hours a week. That's not gonna be where you're gonna get started. Ideally, if you were, incredible. You're gonna go a lot faster. But for most people, you're probably gonna spend two to three hours a week doing sales. So now let's kind of go back to our tally and tally things up. With coaching, we're doing two to four. When we're really starting out, it's closer to zero but we're just gonna ballpark in there. So two to four hours a week of coaching. We're gonna be doing five to 10 hours a week of lead gen. We're gonna be doing two to three hours a week of sales. So already right there, we're at about like, you know, 15, 10 to 15 hours a week of what it looks like to have an online coaching business. And this is if you like really wanna make this thing work. Sure, you could just like, you know, have an offer and post about it on social media and people just won't take you super serious and it's not gonna go anywhere. But if you really want to see your coaching business grow, you're gonna need to put at least 10 to 15 hours a week in. I'm just wanting to show you kind of the breakdown of what I would do if I was getting started and I was like super serious about taking this thing to the next level. Okay, so the next category, category four, is gonna be admin work. And as you're getting started, admin work is like, you know, checking email, it is maybe building a website, getting your LLC, doing finances, stuff like that. And honestly, this should take you 30 minutes to an hour a day. I mean, when you do have big projects like, oh, I'm building a website, or I'm building a sales funnel, or I'm cleaning up my back end, sometimes that can take more time. But in general, like you're gonna be spending on an average day, maybe 30 minutes max, maybe an hour max on doing admin work. 
So let's just calculate, let's just put three more hours in there. Okay, so we're at three, three hours in this category in a total week. Again, we're closer to that 10 to 15 hours a week of what it's gonna take to really get this thing off the ground. And then the last component, and one of the ones that we think of the most is marketing, okay? So marketing is gonna be creating content. It could be short form content, it could be YouTube videos, it could be ads. And if you really want to take your business to the next level, what I recommend is spending at least three to four hours a week creating high valuable marketing material. And the way that I like to do this is I like to batch all of the content at, at once. So like right now I'm filming this video. When I finish this video, I'm gonna make another video. What I like to do is having afternoons, like a, a Thursday afternoon and just block off that, that like two to four hour period and just create all the content that I'm gonna be needing for the next week, potentially two weeks, if I can really get ahead on it. So I like to do that on Thursdays and then on the weekends, I may spend about 60 minutes or so batching and scheduling all the content. So that's gonna be, you know, I said three to four hours to create content, to schedule it, just to get it up and running. Those are all the five categories we've got. If we could kind of add them all up again, we've got coaching, that's gonna be two to four. We've got lead generation, which is gonna be really the bulk of your business getting started five to 10 hours a week. We've got sales, which is gonna be two to three hours a week. We've got admin, that's probably gonna be two to three hours a week. And then finally we have marketing, which could be three to four hours a week. If you really want an online coaching business that's gonna scale and go fast, and you wanna be able to generate five to $20,000 a month, then you're gonna to need to put at least 15 hours a week into your business. Ideally, we have closer to 20 hours a week. The question becomes, if I really want this thing to go fast, what's the best way to do this? For me, I really like creating an ideal like work week, Monday through Friday and blocking off specific times of the day so that I know I can get that 20 hours a week in. If you're working full time and doing something else on the side, it can be challenging to try to fit all these things in. That's where waking up a little early can it get you another two hours of these tasks or potentially staying up just a little bit later or working on Saturday, Sunday, getting ahead on the week. The, the weekends are a great time, especially Sundays, to just create a bunch of content. You can get all of the content creation done. Heck, you could even have some of the sales calls on the weekend. But just know if there's anything you took on this is that lead generation is gonna take the most amount of time and that's having conversations with prospects in hopes of booking phone calls. So that, not hopes, but with the goal of, of booking phone calls. So if you wanna grow your coaching business, you've gotta do lead gen and you've gotta have the time and just the, honestly, like the structure to actually get all these things done. So if you guys need support with this, shoot, shoot me a message. I'm gonna actually have, I always have a link in the description below for just a, a consult call. If you guys have any questions on how do you organize this stuff, but just wanna give you a big picture. If you're not spending 10 to 20 hours a week trying to grow your coaching business and you're just posting your offer and hoping people come in, you're not gonna really be growing a business. You're gonna be growing a, a side hustle kind of thing that's gonna make you a few extra thousand bucks, but it's not gonna be something that's really scalable. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and subscribe. Again, you can message me or, or you can connect with me in the description below, but hope this just gives you a really good idea and understanding of what should I expect when I start a coaching business?